Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome to Injustice Gods Among Us, a game about superheroes beating each other up because apparently talking out their problems was just too bloody difficult. I can say without a doubt there are an infinite number of universes. Some of them are just like our own, but for one or two significant events, exactly the same. Some crises, one might say. And we begin with a downed plane. Slightly big subtitle. Oh no, sorry, it's the Daily Planet. Oh no, the Daily Planet has been destroyed. A supervillain has destroyed the Daily Planet of Metropolis. I hope it's Captain Boomerang. Captain Boomerang is my favourite supervillain of all because he's going up against the Flash, a man who can literally run so fast that, you know, he can travel back through time. And what's Captain Boomerang bringing to the fight? He's bringing boomerangs. Like, in terms of power level, that's slightly below the Blue Rajah from Mystery Men because at least the Blue Rajah can throw a spoon directly. Captain Boomerang has to throw a boomerang and let it go on its full trajectory arc before it even hits anyone. Oh, I'm guessing it wasn't Captain Boomerang, it was the Joker, apparently. Oh, and I'm guessing Superman's slightly annoyed about Metropolis being blown up. Fine. Get away from him. I'm handling this. He's one of my villains. That means you don't get to show up here unless we're doing a big comic crossover event. You drugged me. Made me... Lois. My son. I love how they're treating Metropolis being destroyed by Superman in a rage as some sort of terrible, catastrophic, monstrous, impossible event that only occurs when the Joker somehow drugged Superman when it's, you know, literally the ending of Man of Steel. And indeed, the big pivotal moment that kicked off the dystopia was killing a supervillain, which is also the ending of Man of Steel. Really, the Joker isn't the true monster here, it's Zack Snyder. Meanwhile, somewhere else, how jo- Oh no, not just- Oh blimey! Meanwhile, somewhere else, literally all of the superheroes are fighting literally all of the supervillains at the same time. Should have been a combined assault. Clark sometimes forgets he can't do everything himself. He really shouldn't forget that he shouldn't be taking on Doomsday himself. Doomsday did kill him that once. Well, twice. This does appear to be a team up by every single villain in the entire DC universe simultaneously, half of whom have infiltrated the Watchtower. I think we need some context for this game. I could use your help after I check out Arkham. Look, I know Superman's fighting Doomsday, and Doomsday does occasionally kill Superman, but I need to make sure that the clown with the knife isn't loose. But first, Batman needs to beat up Deathstroke, who's an odd person to be in Arkham, given that's literally the only person who basically isn't in Arkham of all of Batman's villains. So how does this all work then? I just need to figure out what button I need to mash. What button do I need to mash? Ouch! He's got guns, that's cheating. That button seems to work pretty well. You know what, maybe it's time for me to use my own ability. So what am I going to do to this guy? We're going to zap him in the face. Yep, kick him a bit, throw some batarangs at him, and then drive the Batmobile. I feel like that breaks the no-killing rule right there. I do like how Green Arrow's only contribution appears to be making sure the bad guys don't get hurt. Oh, you see, this this is another example of people we shouldn't be taking on. Superman should not take on Doomsday, Batman should not take on Bane. Right, basically just look for things to grab. Look for things to grab. Just keep hammering that RB and look for things to grab. There you go. Just go through the area, finding things to grab with RB. Seems to work quite well. Hang on, where is it? Come on. There you go. That works. Oh, there's a big globe over here. Grab the big... No, no, get, get, get over Bane. Grab the globe, grab the globe, grab the globe. That's it. Wait. Don't do anything with the globe, actually. And now we just have to beat up Lex Luthor by throwing batarangs at him. Obviously. This is genius Lex Luthor, the greatest mastermind and evil genius and tactician of all time. I'm basically just throwing batarangs at him. I missed with that one though, so probably I shouldn't be so smug about his genius. Damn you! Damn you! Your tactical genius knows no bounds! Oh no, now he decided to take 10 steps back and do exactly the same thing again, just ever so slightly faster. Good old quick time events. Defeated by the world's greatest detective there. Oh no, we have to fight anyway. Fine. Grab the thing, grab the thing. Oh, he grabbed the thing. Oh no, he's using the t he's using the area around me too. Well, that's just cheating. Grab the thing, grab the thing. That's a thing. Grab the thing, grab. Martian Manhunter, I feel like you could be doing more to assist. To be perfectly honest, you could. Right, call in the bats. There we are. Actually, this is easy. Just call in the bats. Call in bats. Come, no, call in the bats. Call in the bats. Oh, am I, am I, are the bats on cooldown? Apparently, Batman only has. There we are. There's one bat. There we are. We got. We're on a damn budget here. We're only a billionaire. I'm taking Doomsday into deep space. Make sure it's very deep space. I can see the headlines. 
Justice League fails, Cloud kills millions. You gave him a nuke? It's this button you've got to worry about. There they are. And now we need to immediately start wondering why the Joker doesn't push the button. It was very kind of the Green Lanterns to have actually been bringing Aquaman and Green Arrow, the most useless members of the leagues, along. If they hadn't actually bothered, possibly the situation would have already been resolved by now. And now I'm guessing we're in the evil metropolis thing where Superman took control of the world. Good, good. So was Batman just confronted by the law authorities and decided when he was told to surrender, instead he was going to basically engage in a form of torture against all of them in order that he could escape legitimate law enforcement? I'm not sure Batman's the good guy here. And uh, moving over to Green Lantern now, because apparently all of the heroes got moved through. If Joker's bomb detonated, we have to get back. There's going to be a lot of corpses to clean up. This is your final chance to accept the High Counselor's amnesty, Deathstroke. Get re-educated in your boot camp. Become a puppet. Like you. <laughs> this how things work here? So in our universe, it's okay to take Doomsday and take him into deep space and leave him just floating there in the cold and the dark with no possible way of ever escaping to go slowly mad and fade away. And that's fine and moral and ethical. But in this universe, if they torture Deathstroke for a minute, when they've already pretty much solved all crime and they're trying to either reform or neutralize all supervillains, that's wrong? All right, fine, whatever. Grass greener. So and all of a sudden, now we've changed over to flipping uh, Green Lantern. Which is unfortunate, because I don't know any of Green Lantern's moves. They, actually, some of the basics seem to basically be unchanged. Uh, I wonder if the, the actual combos are basically the same. So can do, okay, so yeah, what was the Batarang is now the minigun. Uh, so can basically, you can still do the same basic combos. What's what was the, the grabby thing? That was a grabby thing for Batman. In this case, it's just a... Oh, and what's my B thing? Oh, I think I've just charged myself up. That's nice. Let's find out what my superpower is as Green Lantern. I've just gone wibbly, and now I'm on Oa, and now I'm sma <laughs> smashing. <laughs> okay, fine. That's fun. Yeah, that's a pretty good way to kill Raven. Oh, I don't like that Raven. I prefer the Teen Titans Raven, as in the original animated Teen Titans. She was good. I liked that Teen Titans. Oh, quite like his throw. He just grabs someone, slams them into a wall, and then kicks them through the wall. That's good. Let's just do that over and over. So we're now matching buttons. He's got an axe, so I've got an anvil. He's got throwy things, so I've got a, well, a target. That strikes me as a bad idea. Why would he create baseballs of all things? This is working weirdly well. I'm just press. I'm decided I'm just going to press, uh, there we go. He only got half his health down by just pressing X there. Now I'm just going to minigun him for a bit. I quite like the transitions, by the way. Transition to a new stage when you power attack them against the edge of the stage. Sinestro's right. Fear is more effective than willpower. So you ditched green and went yellow. The color of cowardice. That's just racism, right? Are the Green Lantern Corps just allowed to hate people because they're yellow? Because in our world, if you just hate someone because they're yellow, that is racist. Conveniently, after the first truck of fuel exploded, someone parked a new truck of fuel right there. That's bloody nice. And just murder Yellow Lantern with a nice mini- And the same Zeppelin's exploding in the background, too. Well, that was surreal. Interestingly, there is actually a bat signal in the background, indicating possibly the authorities are trying to summon Batman in order to recapture him. So in this universe, Batman's a vigilante, but they set up the bat signal anyway. That's a bit odd. Oh no, not Aquaman. No one wants to play as Aquaman. Tell me what you know. Recount the events of his ascension. Would you mind simply telling me exactly what I already know? Judge, jury, and executioner, he and other like-minded metahumans quickly reined in the criminal element. Eliminating all crime. That bastard. If Aquaman is about to fight Shazam, that's just not even bloody fair. Even ignoring the fact that Shazam is vastly more powerful than Aquaman, electricity is super effective versus water. I've played Pokemon. This is complete subjugation. Superman will rule Atlantis. I find that particularly confusing because why the hell would he want to bother? Let's see if tapping X over and over works pretty well for this fight. So he'll, the Flash are getting a few shots, but actually we're doing pretty well with Operation Just, yeah we are, just use the, use the little kind of point, oh it's, it's about a draw so far, it's a tie so far, there we go, no, actually we're building up our critical meter way faster than he is, so we'll actually get some super moves way sooner, even though we're actually, actually we're just about, it's about even, Aquaman power, and we're going to, well I guess it makes sense we're going to summon water, it would be weird if we didn't, <laughs> That shark had comically large teeth. 
That didn't do that much damage to Flash at all. Fine, we should probably do something else. Alright, Flash. Come on over here if you'd be so kind. There you go. And again, the power attack charging works really, really well. Right, hit him with a stick. Hit him with a stick. That's right, the fastest man alive has been defeated because I hit him with a stick. Beautiful. Activate hitting with big stick. There we are. The hitting with a big stick's working really well. He'll occasionally throw lightning. I need to get close enough he doesn't throw lightning. Then other than that, we can just hit him with a big stick. Oh, this is working quite well. I can just stab this guy in the groin with the trident. That's it. Have it in the groin. We just got rid of all his shieldy thing with the trident stab there. This is working really, really well. Yeah, actually, I'm not sure Sazam has an answer to me just stabbing him in the dick with a trident. Oh, there he is. He's got one answer. I haven't even checked what my special ability is, by the way. Let's find out. It's I make myself slightly wet. And down Shazam goes in a fight that's very unlikely to have actually taken place. Aquaman. Aquaman. Never bet on Aquaman, generally. You would give away your kingdom. Pair of worn boots to a surface dweller. Now that's definitely racist. Requires Superman to maintain Earth's oceans and recognize our autonomy. Actually, that seems really, really reasonable. Humans do a really good job just trashing the ocean. This treaty is going to make humans actually take care of the ocean and main that's a really good deal. The game's having a lot of fun fighting itself right now. I wish it would just let me get on with the inevitable Aquaman versus Aquaman fight. There we go. All right, activate, make myself slightly wet power, and then go into hitting him with stick power. There we are, stabbing him in the dick as well. Stabbing him in the dick strikes me as a good plan. It's a really good way of grinding my own special up as well. Also, I question whether my Aquaman should be able to summon sharks to eat this Aquaman. Surely this Aquaman can just say, hey, shark buddy, no, don't do that. Kill him! How do they know which one to obey? Oh, thank goodness, an actually useful superhero must have just shown up. I will say, though it doesn't make much sense, Aquaman is actually quite a good character. He's got really good range because of his staff thingy. And if the odd chance the enemy actually kind of blocks his power attack, then... Oh, did you? I think Ares just threw a lollipop at me. Fine. And the off chance the enemy actually block his power attack, he's got a really good just normal swing on A. He's got really good range. I actually quite like him. Uh, yeah, Aquaman, for some reason, even though he should by logically be the crampiest superhero, it's actually not a bad fighter. No one looks in any way surprised that Aquaman can suddenly teleport in fire. Headache? Uh, trying to prevent one. It's a durability enhancer. 5U93R. How can a pill allow... Kryptonian nanotech. Increases the tensile strength of bone and tissue by several thousand percent. Bats can tell you the rest later if you're having trouble sleeping. He borrowed the recipe from Superman. Soups gives it to his flunkies. I just want to stop a minute to question why the hell Superman would ever have invented this technology. Like, at the point when Superman decides he's going to take over the world, he's got to be thinking, you know what? I'm stronger than everyone else. I can beat everyone in a one-on-one -on -one fight and my only weakness is Kryptonite. So if I want to control the world, what should I do next? Well, Superman, you should perhaps try and secure and destroy all of the Kryptonite. No. No, I wasn't thinking of destroying all the Kryptonite. I was thinking maybe... I could invent a pill that made it so absolutely everyone who took it was strong enough to beat me up. Yes, that would be an idea. We've been monitoring your world for some time. You four specifically. Okay, fine. How Jordan and Diana I would accept, but you were not monitoring Green Arrow. Oh, and now we move back over to the Joker. Okay, that's kind of cool. Though admittedly, I am extremely sad that it appears to not be Mark Hamill voicing the Joker. I'm basically not happy with any Joker that's not voiced by Mark Hamill. Interestingly, we now have to fight Batman as Joker, when previously we fought Joker as Batman, and Batman won easily. But this time, because I'm controlling Joker, he'll win easily, because I know the secret of juggling people with power attacks. I'm not even sure what Joker just saw over there, but I feel like he would have had plenty of time to kill Batman before it arrived. Right foot. Perfect. So this Superman's evil because he's found a way to capture and basically rehabilitate and make Doomsday useful. Whereas back in the original universe, as I say, we just dumped him in deep space to slowly go mad. And that Superman's supposed to be the bad one. A little bird told me some creep was dressed up like the Joker, fighting a Batman wannabe. Harley, it's me. I'm the Joker. Look, it says so right here on my underwear. Not funny, creep. 
you know what? I like this more independent Harley. The Harley in the original universe just basically straight up accepted domestic violence from Joker. As far as I'm concerned, canonically, this Joker, who's an utter monster, is going to die having been beaten up by an alternate version of his own abused girlfriend. Because that seems somehow right to me. Not before I kick her into a helicopter a few times, because it strikes me as funny. That helicopter does seem to just keep coming back for more. Does that helicopter ever go down? Apparently not. And indeed, Joker goes down, killed by the woman that he beat up in an alternate universe. Perfect. So that's Injustice Gods Among Us, a game where the story's full of plot holes and the gameplay's full of easy exploits. But then maybe I'm biased because I'm not really a fighting gamey sort of person. I do like the interactive stages and like moving between different stages. Both of those things work really, really well. The problem is that all the complex combos are really fiddly to pull off and none of them are worth it because almost universally they do less than just basically juggling enemies with basic attacks. So I don't know why you'd ever bother learning all of the controls, honestly. But yes, Injustice. It's okay. It's absolutely the epitome of... Okay, I will never play it again, but neither do I regret playing it. But I would be interested to hear if you think there are fighting games that might be more my sort of thing. Particularly things more like the original Smash Brothers. I liked Smash Brothers 64. If there's anything a bit more like Smash Brothers 64 out in the world these days, let me know about it. I would be more than happy to give it a look. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Injustice, Gods Among Us. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Apparently they've all decided to bring knives to a gunfight, which is a terrible idea. Oh yeah, you just you you try charging, why don't ya? Oh dear. Never charge the man with the shotgun. Does it involve me going and killing people? Because if so, how many and where? Right, this is embarrassing. I've kind of just locked myself out of my flat. Do you happen to have a spare set of keys?